Hey, in last lesson we discussed about how Google collects data and the importance of cookies. We discussed about underscore GA cookie, we discussed about underscore GID cookie. But in this lesson we will go a little forward. We will not track about or will not try and learn about what data is collected when people come and visit our website. That is obviously tracked. But in the world of digital analytics, you have to track something beyond that. We don't want to restrict ourselves by knowing the behavior of the people on our site as to what pages they're visiting, how much time they're spending on our site. No, we have to go a little further because that is what we expect and that is how attribution works. We will talk about all these advanced steps in our future videos. But in this video, we would not just restrict to understanding the behavior of the user on the site, but we will try and understand as to what Google tracks beyond the user behavior, right? So we will do a study. We will not log into the analytics account. I'm not going to take you through the platform right now, but we will go into the Google's policies. We try and figure out and do a deep study as to what all information Google collects about the user. See, Google collects information in two ways. According to their uh, help center, they say we collect information in two ways. One is you provide the information yourself. Second is the activity that you do by using Google products. The information that you provide to Google is through the Google account. When you create a Google account, you ideally give your name, your email address and your phone number, your date of birth and your, your gender and all other is information. But there are other information that Google captures when you visit the site that is actually called as user behavior on the website that is tracked when you install Google Analytics on your website. But looking beyond, if you look beyond that and try and understand what other information Google captures, Join me as I take you through a deep study about the policies of Google and what all information Google collects. To give you a brief before we jump into the deep study, Google collects the IP address. No, they not just collect IP address, they also collect the GPS location and they also identify the locations that you are nearby. For example, if you are if you're using a mobile devices and you're traveling on the road and Google identifies that you are next to some big mall and Google understands that you're traveling and you're you're nearby to that location. So Google uses many other signals and that is where the concept of first party, second party, third party data comes into picture. We will learn about all these things in the study. So join me as I take you through the study where we'll discover and learn as to what other information that Google collects apart from the user behavior on the website. Google records a lot of information and um, Google generally tracks the user behavior with the tracking code and we've discussed about that. We will discuss about the tracking code, how to implement this tracking code in the future videos. But for now, let's not jump into analytics and try and understand uh, the platform and the reports. Before we even get into analytics, what I want to emphasize is on the data because data is very important when it comes to optimization and without data, you'd not be able to find any insight. So I want to spend more time here and my next videos will completely be on analytics and those uh, dimensions and features and reports and many other things, right? But in this video, I would specifically restrict myself to understanding the policies of Google when it comes to data. Now, see, there's a specific help center article which talks about Google privacy and uh, uh, terms and the URL is policies of google.com and I want to know more about what information Google is collecting. See, when you read this uh, help center, the policy help center, Google says two things, right? We collect so much information about the user and what they do on our websites and how they behave by using Google products. But Google says we collect so much of information, but those information is collected in two ways. One is the information that we collect based on your behavior. And the second information is the information that you provide us voluntarily. Now, how do we give Google our information is when we use their products for example if you use Gmail we have to give your first name last name your email address your date of birth and your gender so there are several ways in which Google does this and Google puts them into two different buckets one is we track your user behavior and second is the information that you give us yourself right it says we build a range of services that help millions of people daily to explore and interact with the world in new ways it says google apps sites and search and youtube and google home and, pe and people continuously use google chrome and android and google collects a lot of information now why google collects this information right and they use it for different purposes but again we want to restrict ourselves to realize or to understand that in information how can it help me as an advertiser when i bring people to my site so you know, what what this information can help me with right anyways i'm going to track the user behavior but i want to go beyond and and, and find out what other information that google captures so i can i can really have information about now now when people come to my site i know people have come to my site they're a new user returning user that we will learn in future right google tracks them by default the moment you put a google analytics code on the site 
that Google Analytics tracks them by default. But Google goes beyond this and even gives you information about the affinity. The affinity is the, the long-term interest of the people who come to your site. The in-market audience or in-market information tells you the, 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 the information that people are currently searching about. Now, you only want to restrict knowing that people came to your site and they went to these all pages or these many minutes they've spent on your site or you even want to understand what kind of people came to your site, what their long-term interest is, what their short-term interest is and Google collects all this information and puts them for us to be re to be to, 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 to go through and we find and, and we can take that insights and use in Google Ads and other platforms but Google collects all this information from these things, the way we behave on the web and the, and, 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 and the Google accounts that we use, right? If you even come down, you can just go through, you can you know briefly read about it because it is important that you have complete idea about what information Google is collecting even before you want to become that data analyst or, or somebody who's working in the world of web analytics and you got to deal with extremely high amount of data. Now, now we want you to understand the type of information we collect as a services. Now it says, if you see here, we collect information to provide better services to all users from figuring out basic stuff which language you speak in, in to more complex things like what ads you find more useful. That means Google even tracks the ads that are served to you and the way you interact with those ads, those are captured and, and those information is again processed and Google comes to a conclusion, hey, this guy seems to be very, very interested in this particular piece of content and, and maybe he's really interested in that, in, 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 in that information. And it says this information or it sells this information to advertisers and says, you're looking for these kind of people and this person expressed a particular interest because you know, for, for last two days or for last three days, he's browsing content relevant to that, right? No, the people who matter to you or people who matter most to you on YouTube, right? And and Google says when a user is not signed into Google account, see, when you sign into Google account, Google automatically knows that it is Prashant who signed in and his gender is this, his email address is this. And Google collects a lot of information about you in your own account that we can go and check. We collect the information or we store the information we collect with unique identifiers. This I will I will show you. I think we've already discussed when you go to my site or when you go to any site and go to and go to the application and then type, uh, uh, type in collect. For this, you go to my first video. The first video will extensively talk about these things. And whatever information is passed to analytics servers is always passed in the form of unique identifiers. Right, information they collect, the browsers, the apps, the devices, and 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 you know, you know, I I was even surprised when Google told me that they even track our purchase activity and 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 the people whom you communicate with or share content or third party apps or Chrome browsing history you've synced with your Google account, the videos you watch. Not just this. In the first video, we even talked about what kind of information how Google captures the location. We talked about IP address, right? But here it says I will even capture your GPS location, sensor data from your device, information about things that are near your device like Wi-Fi access points, cell towers, Bluetooth enabled devices. Oh my God, Google tracks a lot of information. And that is exactly why it is important that you use Google Analytics because Google does not give you information about the visitors to your site. It goes beyond and it will even give you information about their long-term interest, short-term interest, which will then help you run successful marketing campaigns. And that is exactly what we want to use. Now, remember guys, I want to tell you one thing before I conclude this video, remember, See, data is very important. Without data, there's no point. Your optimization starts with data. Remember, even before you get to a point that you want to analyze the data, you first have to understand what data you're collecting. Because once you have this idea about what data you're collecting, then you can learn about the ways you can interpret the data, the insights that you can find from those data, the reports that are available, right? Many other things. But these are basics. Now, I wanted to create this video is because the first thing is because I was I was searching about these contents on on GitHub. I was I was searching for this content on Stack Overflow, and I find a lot of people ask this: What kind of information that Google collects? Basically, now it might not be relevant to us as somebody who wants to track the user behavior, but as a digital marketer, you at least need to have this idea, right? So that is why my intention before I build the analytics tower on this. I really want to get back to the basics and tell you these are there and Google tracks so much information. For more, you can just go through this URL policies.google.com slash privacy and this is called fragment and hash info collect, right? And if you come down, so much of information, right? The personalized ads, Google you know, serves you personalized ads based on your interest and that, that happens 
that happened mainly because Google collects a lot of information about you, right? Now, you can just go through this URL. You got a lot of information. Trust me, guys, it's important. If you really want to be somebody who will be an effective digital marketer or somebody who can effectively interpret data and find insights from the data, you got to know these things. These are those little, little things that will differentiate you from those crowd who thinks they know digital marketing or who think they know they know digital marketing or Google Analytics, but practically as per textbook, they don't know anything, right? Don't be in that loop of people or group of people. Try and separate yourself, learn something beyond, and that is how you can build your career. Thank you so much. And in my next video, I'm speaking or I'm going to teach you about cookies and the importance of cookies and why you should use cookies to persist the data throughout the user session. Continue and don't skip any of these videos. Continue to watch the entire videos in the playlist. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to our channel and uh, please do not forget to hit on the notification bell icon because you'd be informed every time we post a new video on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much and like I say, keep learning, keep growing and uh, choose career over course. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Continue to watch the other videos in this playlist and do not skip any video. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and also not to forget, click on the bell icon right here so that you would be notified about our future videos that we post on our channel. Remember, keep learning, keep growing and last, choose career over course. Thank you.